Hi there, my name is Robert Hofmeyer. On this channel we normally do videos about wildlife filmmaking in Africa, overlanding, camping, that sort of thing. But recently we've been chatting quite a bit about Starlink satellite internet. Um, in previous videos we've covered how to import a Starlink kit into South Africa, how to mount a dish on a vehicle and also how to do a 12 volt DC conversion. Today we're going to install the Starlink router as well as the 12 volt power supply in the rear of the vehicle, run some cables from there up to the roof rack to connect to the Starlink dish, a solar panel and a light. We're also going to install some switches in the dashboard of the vehicle. So here we are at the back of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, I'm still a bit of a mess here. I am busy pulling cables. They are going to run from up here on the roof rack. Let me show you. I have mounted a 100 watt solar panel to offset the power draw the Starlink will have. Um, I've just mounted this on alu panel that I had lying around. I cut that with a, with a knife and uh, bolted it onto the roof rack and then bolted the panel itself onto the alu panel and put a little bit of tape just so the wind doesn't get underneath it. I haven't glued it down because I'm always hesitant to do things that are going to be difficult to undo. Then um, here's the Starlink mount. Uh, so the Starlink will sit across this way and then the wires from this panel and from the Starlink are going to come down to the back of the vehicle here and I've taken off this rear brake light which was a real job and I'm going to run these wires into the brake light across and through the existing hole over there and they will come out here very near to my existing second battery and I'll um, include the 12 volt power adapter in a little box in that area. That was not easy, but it is done. So now the wires run through that grommet there, then inside up here behind this roof piece, down through there and here they come out. It was a nightmare to pull this, um, this trunking down through here. This isn't, this isn't just a hollow channel <laughs> there's a lot of bits and pieces in there so it was really difficult it took took me a while but it's done so you can see now i've got most of this brake light back on here are my wires coming out through that grommet and then down here difficult to see them but they're wrapped in uh, black electrical tape they run along the bottom and then from here we'll put them back into some trunking. So the next step is to replace this cover, but I just need to chop a little notch in it where the wires come out the bottom. Uh, that looks like it'll fit nicely, but I'm not going to click it into place yet because I want to just test everything first. This piece is very difficult to pop out. So I've just quickly run power from my auxiliary battery via the power converter into the router and uh, I've connected to the Starlink network searching for satellites, which it will not find because we are indoors, but everything seems to be working. It's communicating properly. It's pulling power. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, in order to secure the conduit to the underside of the roof rack, I'm going to use the existing channels. So I've just 3D printed some uh, little cable tie holders. These, uh, the flat bit is the same size as the head of an M8 bolt. So they will slot into the existing channel over here and then I've made a little hole through which a cable tie can fit like so 
and then it'll be quite easy to put the conduit into position and secure it in place. Like so. so the next step is to secure these cables properly and protect them. So we're going to use some split conduit, put that around the cables and run them along the underside of this roof rack uh, with the cables coming out at different points. Um, we have a two core wire that I'm going to use for a light and uh, ethernet cable for the Starlink which is just going to be here and those are the connectors for the solar panels. Okay, the exterior wiring is all relatively neat and well protected, nicely tucked away. Now it's on to the interior. These two two core wires are going to be to activate the relays. So I've run them all the way along, down, along the bottom over here, up behind the dash. It's a bit of a mess in here at the moment, but uh, and then I'm gonna, I've got space for one switch in this piece and another switch on the right to the right of the steering wheel. Wire everything up, then put everything back together. Whew, all right. So all the wires are in and everything is closed up. Um, I've made a little box that sits here in front of the secondary battery. And in that I'm going to mount an MPPT charge controller for the solar panel. Um, I'll also put in a fuse box, our 12 volt adapter for the Starlink, uh, a couple of relays, and maybe a fan or two. There we go. Right, here we go. It's all in the car, everything is connected. Uh, it's not yet as neat as I would like it, but I'll tie everything away once I'm sure it all works. I'm also waiting on a couple of fans that will sit underneath uh, these guys. Uh, they'll arrive in a couple of days, so I'll need to pull it all out to fit those. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I got all this, these wires right. Um, I'm gonna plug it in now for the first time and see if things spark or not. Let's see. Okay. Okay, no no explosion, so that's that's good. 
some little lights on the on the this little, this little fuse box here that is also good i can't test the mppt at the moment because i'm um, inside so there's no uh, sun hitting the solar panel but i can go around here let's give it a test light on light comes on brilliant starlink on and starlink starts booting oh, i am very relieved that everything is working it's been quite a quite a battle this job but everything's in everything's functioning i just need to neaten it up a bit add a few bits and pieces and then i'm going to ask andy to come around and maybe we'll pop up the mountain and run some tests i want to see what the saving is from running of 12 volts as opposed to running through the inverter Ciao, see you later.